Right, today I'm doing a little test to see how I can do this sort of run and gun photography thing. Uh, initially I've got my lens which is a wide angle-ish 14mm set with manual focus to about 2 feet which I reckon is about right and it's wide open at f2.8 at the moment so I imagine this is going to be very very overexposed okay now I've dialed it down to f5.6 so hopefully it won't be quite so overexposed it's probably still much much too bright uh, see what you think uh, it's kind of difficult to remember to hold my microphone somewhere in the vicinity of my face uh, I really need to mount this on top of the camera if I'm going to do an awful lot of this Unfortunately, I don't quite have the fittings to do it. Okay, now we're on F11, so that should be a bit better. I suspect it's still going to be way, way too bright. We shall see. Okay, now we've gone all the way down to F22, and this should be beginning to be acceptable. Also, the sun is just currently moving behind a tree. So I'm slightly in shadow, but this will change any moment now, so we'll see. This might just about be acceptable, but of course you can probably see everything in the background. Just about everything is in focus at f22, so that's maybe not the effect you're going for. I don't know. Right, we're in the sun now again, although the shadows are getting quite long. Okay, so now we're getting a little bit fancy. We've gone back to f2.8, but this time I have a 0.6 neutral density filter fitted to the camera. I suspect this is still going to be somewhat overexposed, but we'll see. Not sure how this works. And I don't know, you probably won't be able to see an awful lot of what's in the background, because it'll mostly be out of focus. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, same settings, same manual focus, um, two foot, and now I've gone to f4, and it still has the neutral density filter on it at 0.6. Uh, this might be a little better, still overexposed, I suspect. Okay, same again, only this time we're on f8, so still manual focus, two foot away. Neutral density filter of 0.6 on f8 this time. I should say that uh, I'm shooting at uh, 25 frames per second with a shutter speed of 1 50th of a second. Finally, an aperture of f22 with a neutral density filter of 0.6. This might actually be slightly underexposed, I'm not sure and you'll certainly see everything in the background, just about everything will be in focus, I imagine. Okay, we're uh, back in the sun now, or well, what's left of it, still quite strong, so a little over the horizon. Uh, now, I've gone all out for an, uh, a 1.2 neutral density filter and slid all the way back to f2.8, which is wide open on this lens. So, this will be interesting. It's just possible this might work quite well. Uh, if it's too much, I also have a, a 0.9 filter, um, but I suspect this is going to be enough. Uh, we shall see. Okay, well, that looked pretty good actually, but uh, just for completeness, I've uh, taken this to f5.6 and uh, given that a try. So it's going to be a little bit darker um, and well it's not going to be quite as nice a blurry background but probably going to be acceptable let's uh, have a look okay hopefully I've got it right this time this is on f 2.8 this is on f 2.8 with both the 1.2 and 0.6 neutral density filters stacked on top of each other so 
this may just work I don't know it should just be exposed just right I should be in focus and the background should be blurred well that's the plan anyway well for starters my filters aren't very good look at that arm that's supposed to be green in color look at that strap that's supposed to be black but it has a definite brown tinge to it and look at the collar on my shirt that's also meant to be green or khaki I should say I did try to use functions of power director 16 to try and adjust the white balance but nothing I did could get rid of that reddish tinge the other thing I should have learnt by now is not to hold the camera between me and the sun because it casts a fantastic shadow which looks really unprofessional. The other thing that would help is some image stabilisation which unfortunately neither my camera nor the lens has. Well that's about all I've got. Uh, if you've got any hints, tips, suggestions, comments I'd love to know. Thanks for watching. Bye.